Happy Technique Tuesday. Hi, I'm Lauren Chatema. My company is Intentional Acting, and I'm hired by working actors who are whose self-tapes aren't booking work, and they want to know why, and what they want is to book more work and build a reputation of being an in-demand actor. So my goal today is to give you some tips and tools that are going to help you do just that. So you know how your teachers, my teachers did, and most and what I hear all the time is, you know, you've done your work, throw it away, put it aside, forget about it. You know, and I've been thinking about that. I've even said it a lot as an acting teacher myself. But what's the technique behind that? I mean, this is Technique Tuesday. And what's the technique? How do you do that? That's what I'm always asking in intentional acting. If it's a technique, then that must be something you can do. So how do you do that? How do you throw your work away? And I was like, well, that doesn't really make sense. But what makes sense to me and what I've started saying what really works is trust your work. Trust it. Stop working so hard and trust that it's there. So think about it. If you are doing your proper script analysis, and I've given a lot of tools so you can go back and watch some of my videos about what I think is proper script analysis and proper preparation. And it's not about memorizing your lines. It's about knowing the story and knowing the beats, knowing the events of the story, going through and what is the relationship of the scene and where does this take place and what happened the moment before and what's the conflict in the scene. So when you're answering those questions, some people might think that they're really heady, but what they're actually doing is putting your mind to rest. And think of it like a computer. Your brain's like a computer. You ask it a question and then it answers it and then that information goes into the background, okay? Just like a computer. The information goes into the background. So that's why I like questions like, what are the relationships? Because once I think, oh, it's like a mother-daughter, like there's so much information in the background for me about a mother-daughter because I am a mom and I have, and I am a daughter. And so I'm like, oh, there's just so much experience and life and memories and thoughts all there sitting there in the background. So when I ask that question, what is the relationship? It puts me into doing, right? And that information is in the background. So then when I get up to do the scene and I have to create relationships, that's a really important thing that to look for in your self tapes. So when you're, um, you're creating the scene and creating the experience of the scene, can we tell who the relationships are and who you're talking to? Can we tell that this is your enemy? Or can we tell that this is um, your boyfriend who you're like, well, you know, Queer Eye could really do some work for you and until they do, I'm out of here. Like, is that clear when I'm watching that scene what that relationship is, okay? So, and, but, so for me, it has to be clear who I'm speaking to. It has to be clear what that relationship is. So when I've asked what that relationship, and then I go back and I think about, I had a couple of boyfriends like that, that's all in the background, right? So now think about you've done, like maybe you've done the nine questions of intentional acting and the eight keys of script analysis and you've gone through the work and prepared your scene, your work, your, your self tape even, you've prepared it all. And now you gotta get up in front of that camera and go. Well, the first thing is to go back and just re remind yourself, what's the relationship? Oh, mother, daughter, oh, got it. Like recall that information is in the background, just bring it up to trigger it and, 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 and bring it to the present and then let it go, right? That's why I like questions. So asking the question, let it come up and then it go. What's my intention? I need her to say yes. So, and then once I start in the scene and I gotta think what's my moment before and now I'm living in that moment and I'm talking to this person and I'm using my words, I'm using that scene and I'm and to get my intention and fight for it. All that information is in the background. So I don't have to be working it, but I have to trust and know that it's there. So when you memorize first, you're just putting words out there and you don't have all the background behind those words. And it's those background and that, think about it too, that's when they say we want to see what's going on behind the eyes of the actor. Like what's in, in the behind the eyes? What's going on in their head, right? That's background. And that's not back 
story. And maybe it is some backstory, but it's really answering those questions, trusting that it's there. Just like I remember the information from my past is back there. So now when you hear somebody say, just throw your work away, I want you to think, no, I'm going to trust my work is there and I can keep going. So there's your technique. Trust your work. Trust your work. And if you have any questions or if there's a way that I can help you, please put a comment below. Um, you can message me at lauren at intentionalacting.com or you can message me through Facebook or you can also email me at lauren at intentionalacting.com and you can also sign up for a 45 minute discovery session if you're interested in how to work with me. So I look forward to talking to you and finding out how I can help you and answer your questions. Happy Technique Tuesday!